Good afternoon. My name is Bob Neff, and I am an Ohio State Extension Montgomery County Master Gardener. It is an honor and a privilege to serve as your Master of Ceremonies today. In the early 1900s, these grounds were recognized nationally as a garden paradise and saw more than 600,000 visitors a year, nearly six times the population of Dayton at that time. In a unified effort, many entities have come together over the past few years to restore the grotto's glory and bring the visitors back. Today is a special day. We're here to dedicate the Memorial Grotto Fountain in honor of Louis V. Gunkel, one of the founding fathers of the Dayton Medical Center. At this time, I invite Reverend John Parent to give the invocation, which will be followed by the posting of the colors by the sons of the Union veterans of the Civil War, Major General William T. Sherman Camp, 93, Color Guard, and the national anthem sung by Dr. Bruce Klein, a member of the Dayton Opera Chorus, with accompaniment by his wife, Leora, a former member of the Dayton Philharmonic Orchestra. Please rise. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for this day, for the beauty that surrounds us, even the rain. And we thank you for the blessings and peace in our land. We also thank you for people who went before us, who built and who led others, making life better for those around them in their day and making life better for us in ours. We are honoring one of those people today, Louis Gunkel, who led the people of his day to provide for care for veterans of the Civil War and whose work we build upon yet today for veterans of our generation. May it bring beauty, comfort, serenity, hope, healing, and strength to veterans, their families, and all people who come here. Watch over us gathered here today and over those who will come here in days to come. And watch over our land. May we and our land be a blessing to others as we have been blessed by people like Mr. Gomer. Hear our prayers this day, gracious God. Amen. So 
gallantly stream And the rockets red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night That our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? Center's designation as a National Historic Landmark. A restoration of this magnitude and success could not have happened without significant donations and expenditures. Please join me in welcoming to the podium the President of the American Veterans Heritage Center, Center the Honorable Judge Walter H. Wright. <coughs> Director Costi, Robert Neff, the master, master gardener, uh, the wonderful staff, employees of the Veterans Administration Medical Campus, uh, master gardeners, donors, everyone who made this uh, wonderful day possible. I always like to start off my remarks, however brief, with a personal anecdote. I'd like you to reverse time uh, some 70 years. Uh, I was an eight-year-old living in Pittsburgh and uh, my mother being very um, wise recognized that my lack of athletic ability would uh, never permit me to achieve real contentment. She decided I needed a hobby, so she went out and uh, acquired somehow a group of old picture postcards from the early 1900s. I looked through them and I saw what I immediately recognized was the most beautiful thing I had ever seen. Now that statement uh, shouldn't be uh, exaggerated. I was only eight years old. I had very little context in which to make that opinion. It was a picture postcard of something called the Grotto at the soldier's home in a place known as Dayton, Ohio. The Grotto with uh, surrounding lakes. At that time, I had no idea what a grotto was. I had no idea what a soldier's home was. And I certainly uh, had never heard of Dayton, Ohio. Flash forward about 20 years, I came to live in Dayton, became a lawyer, and I found myself on campus uh, visiting a client who was hospitalized, and I decided afterwards to visit the grotto. So I asked hospital personnel, staff, uh, patients, employees, where can I find the grotto? I might as well, uh, might as well have asked them, where do I get the first shuttle to the planet Mars. No one knew what I was talking about. I finally found it. Finally found it after walking past it on uh, numerous uh, occasions. Uh, it bore no resemblance to its former glory. It was obviously neglected, uh, overgrown, and hidden from all but the most observant and uh, curious eyes. The jungle had reclaimed its own. In addition, not even all the lakes were there. 
And as far as the fountain was concerned, it was not to be seen. On August 18th of last year, we came together and dedicated the restoration of the historic grotto to its formal, uh, former rather, uh, glory, uh, brought about by incredible collaboration between the VA, the VA staff, the VA employees, the master gardeners, the American Veterans Heritage Center, and so many others. At that ceremony, a justified tribute was paid to Glenn Costey, to Guy Richardson, uh, a predecessor who had uh, secured the funding to restore the grotto, to interim directors Murdoch and Montague. Uh, the American Veterans Heritage Center was recognized with its mission of preserving the historic uh, campus inspiring everyone as to the sacrifices of our military uh, veterans and educating all about the true meaning of working and giving back to the community. Special recognition was afforded uh, Robert Kinsis, a, uh, an ABHC board member, for being the uh, glue that brought the collaborators uh, together, that worked hard with them, and uh, who by his passion and uh, vision and hard work uh, brought about as the catalyst the grotto dedication that we celebrated on that day. Today, and the weather I think has cleared for the occasion, uh, we add still another star to the diadem, to the crown that is the historic VA grotto to the crown that is our grotto. As with the case of the collaboration that brought about the restoration of the uh, grotto celebrated last August, this event simply did not happen on its own. The generosity of the individuals and donors or organizations listed on the back of the program were absolutely invaluable the continuing enthusiasm and ongoing dedication and commitment of the master gardeners, the VA staff, the VA employees for their enhancement and maintenance uh, of that which was dedicated last August, members of the board of the American Veterans Heritage Center, Robert Kinsus, Dennis Samick, uh, Cindy Daffler, Mark Conrad, <laughs> Margaret Kukemeyer, Diane Hamm, whose beautiful artwork will be discussed and shown you uh, shortly, uh, who has portrayed the grotto in an unbelievable manner and who has agreed uh, on her own, no persuasion necessary, to donate all the proceeds for the continued enhancement and preservation of the grotto. And of course, Louis Gunkel. Louis Gunkel, whose passion to locate the a disabled soldier's uh, home in uh, Dayton, whose passion uh, to uh, enhance and to provide what was then cutting edge medical and health care to disabled veterans, and whose passion to enhance the architectural and horticultural splendor of this campus became nothing less than the overriding passions of his life. So today uh, we dedicate uh, not the grotto itself, but another jewel in the crown jewel that is our grotto, uh, which will help to assure, we know, help to assure that these gardens and their surroundings will continue to provide peace, joy, inspiration, and a cleansing and spiritual renewal to the souls of all of our veterans present and into the foreseeable future and to all who visit this campus now and for generations yet unborn. Congratulations to all of us here and thank you.
for the band, Mr. Glenn Costi, director of uh, Medical Center Director. And uh, Mr. Costi is responsible for providing care to more than 38,000 veterans and their families across an area encompassing 16 counties in Ohio and one in Indiana. Mr. Costi is a native of Harrisonburg, Virginia, and has a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering from Virginia Tech. It's my honor to introduce Mr. Glenn Costi. So my first official act would be to demote you from uh, uh, Mr. Sinerlis. <laughs> Well, I want to welcome everybody to our, our campus. You know, any time that we can share uh, this resource with the uh, with our, our neighbors here in West Dayton and the greater Dayton area, we, we really look for opportunities to do that. Um, this grotto has become a, a destination again, and, and we've already had uh, a lot of events here with uh, weddings and, and uh, special events for, uh, for the community, and that really was the mission of our organization when we were established in 1867. It was a destination for around the country. Folks came here to the amusement park that was across the street and also came here to uh, meet with veterans who had fought during the Civil War and later wars to, uh, to thank them for their service for our country and, and learn a little bit about, uh, about their experience here. Our, uh, our month of June has been just, just packed full of events like this and we're, we're really excited to start seeing the traction that we're getting with the support from from the Congress and the President for a lot of our construction projects here at the campus. We've opened up a new uh, state-of-the-art uh, medical surgical ward in our, our main bed tower over in Richmond, Indiana. We, we relocated to a new part of town and, and uh, expanded our clinic there for the veterans in, in Richmond. Um, we opened up a, a, another partnership with the St. Mary's group uh, with uh, housing for seniors here on our campus at Lions Place 2 and we're going to be dedicating that, that later on this, this month. So really an incredibly busy time for us but just an exciting time to really see uh, the facilities uh, come to life again. And today we're here uh, to dedicate a, a portion of our grotto, the, the, the fountain that we will see on display shortly. Uh, is just another way to begin to add a lot of special uh, environment here in this healing garden. This has become a, a place of meditation for veterans and staff, and, and you see it being used on a daily basis when folks need to come and, and recharge their batteries. This is a very quiet uh, place, and, and the, uh, the healing environment will be enhanced by the, the sound of the fountain uh, when, when, we, uh, when we activate it. This effort has already has been talked about with, uh, with, with the, uh, the, the partnership with American Veterans Heritage Center where the, the VA began with an investment of around $700,000 to, to uh, un untangle the jungle that Judge Rice talked about. But you can imagine when engineers uh, do things, that they do things in a very practical way and what was left was a, a very stark and, and, and unemotional uh, garden. It, it, was, it was functional, I would say. Uh, the, the alliance that we created with the, the American Veterans Heritage Center and, and their relationship with Master Gardeners has really brought the, the life to this garden and, and the emotion and the heart that you see uh, on display uh, around you and, and has been captured in this wonderful uh, etching that was, was done by, uh, by Ms. Farm. So with that, uh, effort requires leadership and I'd like to invite Bob to come up again and I have a little uh, thank you I want to give you for your, uh, your leadership. Just a, a memento of our appreciation for for your leadership. It's it's a pen that I hope you use to get more donations for. <laughs> <laughs> about the, the work of our next uh, honoree, but I'd like to ask Diane Harm to come forward. We'd like to give you a thank you for uh, the work you did with our uh, with your work. So thank you very much. Thank you. The, uh, the other item that you'll, you'll hear about uh, is the, uh, the uh, greeting cards that we will be making with, uh, with the image of your, your artwork on them. And I, I know that they'll complement um, the greeting cards we have on, with the Protestant Chapel. So another historic area on the campus that's being, uh, being uh, codified and, and made permanent through, uh, through some of the many, many ways. So uh, thank you very much for your time and effort. Thank you.
Thank you, Mr. Costi. At this time, I'm pleased to welcome the Honorable Mayor Nan Whaley to issue a congratulatory proclamation. Well, good afternoon. It's great to see so many friends and friendly faces here today. And uh, following uh, uh, Judge Rice's great comments, as always, and Mr. Costi's comments, I won't have much more to add. Uh, but to say, even on a day like today, I think all of us feel uh, the beauty of this place. And it um, right away lowers your blood pressure, I think, just by sitting in, uh, and, and seeing this. And I think that's happening for many, many people. Uh, for celebrations and opportunities just to think. And so uh, I know that these things don't happen by accident, that they require partnerships and they require the community to come together and it requires a willing leader uh, with the Dayton VA. And I say this about every week, maybe every day, we are so lucky to have Glenn Costi in Dayton, Ohio as the head of our Dayton VA and we're very grateful for him being here. to be here quite often for the new uh, the addition of uh, many new things like uh, housing uh, Lions Place and hopefully uh, someday the VA archives of uh, coming here to Dayton and so we know Glenn has uh, just been a great partner and always championing Dayton and uh, we're so happy he's a Daytonian and so today it's my pleasure to give you greetings from the mayor of the city of Dayton to the Dayton v Veterans Administration Medical Center in recognition of its dedication of the Lewis B. Gunkel Memorial Foundation in your replica of the original Grotto Foundation Fountain, that's Fountain, I'm sorry, Grotto Fountain, that stood on the grounds of the National Military Home, predecessor of the Dayton VA Medical Center. Please accept our best wishes, our partnership, and our congratulations for this very great day. Thank you all for coming today. your interest in the Grotto Landscape Reformation. At this time, I'd like to welcome Leora Klein to perform Asha Khan's Farewell from the PBS series on the Civil War.
this trial.